Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the chart not loading or freezing on TradingView 2025. Charts that freeze or don't load in TradingView can ruin your trading flow. This is an issue uh, is usually tied to your browser, a weak internet connection or too much chart data loading at once. Now let's fix that and get your chart running clean. The first thing you want to do is to refresh or reopen the chart. Sometimes a quick reload is all it takes. So make sure you do that. The second thing is to check your internet speed. A weak or an uh, unstable connection can prevent charts from rendering. So you're just going to switch between Wi-Fi and networks and see which one is faster and more stable and use it for trading. The third thing you want to do is to clear cache, which can be done on browser or the desktop app. Just cache data can slow uh, things down. Now in the browser settings, go to here, as I'm going to show you, just go to the browser and you're going to click on the three dots here and click on delete browsing data and choose cookies and other site data and cached image files. And you can also uh, choose the time span from which you want to delete the data from. And this clears all the corrupted files in the app registry. Now, in app, you just reinstall or delete the app data folder. You can also reduce the chart complexity, too many overlays, indicators, or time frames, so simplify your chart setup. And also turn off the auto sync across tabs. If you're syncing across multiple tabs, it might be overloading your session. For example, here, as you can see, there are a lot of tabs. You can add also another tab here and add another tab here and choose them to view each information. Also, make sure to update the app or the browser. An outdated app can have bugs that freeze charts, so always update. Frozen charts equals missed trades, but now you've got the tools to prevent that. With the layer cleanup, a smart chart design, you will enjoy smooth uh, tracking all the time. Use fewer time frames and live indicators on mobile to avoid overload, especially on lower phones or tablets. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you liked this video and found this helpful, please like and subscribe, and feel free to leave comments below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching, and see you again in the next tutorial.